بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد continuing on in our series about the signs of the servants love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we reach the portion where Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah he mentioned that intimacy with Allah while isolating oneself from others that one of the ways that a person or exhibits the signs that they have love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is that they isolate themselves or go into seclusion and uh, have a relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reflecting upon him so Shaykh al-Islam rahimahullah ta'ala said this includes having a covert discourse with him as well as recitation of his book Thus, the slave is assiduous in performing tahajjud and taking advantage of the tranquility and stillness of the night, as well as the purity of the time that comes with separation from the rudimentary obstacles and hindrances of everyday life. The lowest level of love is to find delight in the one you love while in seclusion with him. So whoever considers sleep and talking business to be more pleasurable to him than seclusion with the law then how could his claim to love Allah be authentic? Ibrahim ibn Adhan rahimahullah ta'ala said, The highest level of loving Allah is to cut yourself off from everything that will distance you from him, all for the sake of your Lord, to seek intimacy with him with your heart, intellect, and the rest of your limbs. Make your love of him firm in your heart so that you will give nothing precedence over it. If you are fortunate enough, to reach this point, then it won't matter to you if you are on land or at sea or in ease or difficulty. Another benefit Shaykh al-Islam mentioned after that, he said busying oneself with the worship of Allah, having a demure or sincere love for being obedient to him and seeking closeness to him while distancing himself from other than him. If the love of Allah is sincere, then it would necessitate a love of obedience to him and exemplifying his orders while hating disobedience to him and avoiding it at all cost. As for the one whom Allah loves, he will bestow on him gentleness like that of the ocean and humility like that of the earth. Ahmed ibn Abi al-Hawari rahimahullah ta'ala said, the sign that the slave loves Allah is to love obedience to Allah. Dhunnun rahimahullah ta'ala said, from the signs of the slave's love of Allah is to abandon everything and anyone that distracts him from Allah until all of his attention is for Allah alone. Muhammad ibn Sa'id al-Khawarazami rahimahullah ta'ala said, Dhunnun al-Masri said, when he was asked about the love of Allah, to Allah, to love Allah means to love what Allah loves and hate what Allah hates. To perform good deeds for the sake of Allah and to avoid anything or anyone that diverts your attention from Allah. To speak the truth and not fear the criticism of those who find fault. Having love and sympathy for the believer.